Hello guys and welcome to episode 7 of my Total War Warhammer playthrough playing as the Wood Elves. We are making so much progress so quickly at the moment and we are now taking on uh, the undead Bertrand Le Saracen and uh, we have a banner to put on one of our units so gives a passive ability the banner of the hunted king I'm not sure exactly what that does but it does allow us to do vanguard deployment so what I might do is put it on that glade guard unit with a lot of experience okay so we're attacking them we are going to go ahead and fight this one on the battle map So here we are guys in the battle. Now one thing that's uh, quite good is that uh, the undead don't have any range units. So what we can do is use this huge hill that we've been given. So what I'm going to do is line up my bowmen. Going to get my slightly better ones behind. I'm going to grab my eternal guard and spread out. I'm probably going to just move this line slightly back. That means I can put as many of these in front, nice thin walls, and then I'm going to wall off the sides so that we don't get flanked. Uh, then I'm going to use the Hawk Riders to bait them towards us. <laughs> and we'll keep my general here, Orion, and... Wild Riders can sit on top of the hill. Okay, so let's start the battle. They're going to have to come towards me. Otherwise, I'm just going to sit there with my with my Hawk Riders and just pepper them to death. As you can see, they're now forced to attack me. <laughs> I don't know why it takes these Hawk Riders so long to fire. It just seems to take them so long to get on target, and I don't really understand why. Like, even sped up, see how long it takes them. I don't know if it's just because they're accurate, but you can see here my bow is opening up. The rain of arrows. I'm gonna target the uh, skeleton warriors. Mainly because they're actually a decent unit. Well, well, I say decent. They're better than zombies. And zombies are pretty damn terrible. That's a my nice chunk here, so I'm actually going to concentrate some volleys into this lot. As you can see, that did a lot of damage. Right, now what I'm going to do is bring this line back up a bit so they can fire over the wall we have going on. Right, I'm going to get a Ryan straight into this melee. And I'm actually just going to set off the, the hounds over there. And we're going to put in my missile All right, these guys aren't really doing much <laughs> don't really want to charge skeleton spearmen with wild riders but I guess I'll have to whoa look how far they went down the hill they go All right, let's uh, make sure that I'm targeting some of these Troops where I can. I think I'll just take these guys further up. So, so far, so good. Not sure what this does. Potion of speed. 
only have one chance to use that. I guess what I should do is use those ones to fire to the right side and these ones to fire to the left side. So we get this like sort of cross firing going on. There we go, that's much better. Rather than trying to fire what's right in front of them. So some of my units are actually getting really low. Right, let's just charge into here. Awesome. And what I'm going to do is maybe charge in, but it looks like they've all routed and they're all crumbling. And there we have it. Their entire army is dead. Decisive victory. Their army crumbled. And that's how terrible zombies are. Look at the kills of those zombies. They literally did nothing. One of my units got pretty low and I think that was mostly friendly fire. A lot of loot gained though. I'm going to release the captives because it doesn't really matter. Bertrand is dead. And we got experience for that. So let's now complete that. Get 15% extra missile damage. Awesome. Gonna change Tralan to normal stance and we're going to siege Musalon. So let's encircle that. And then we're going to get Darthu to come up and reinforce. No mercy. We're going to upgrade our Branch Wraith, so we get extra Earth Blood. And I am indeed going to fight this battle here on the battle map. Because it's the end of the Red Duke. And it should be cool to show you guys some of these Spell Bats and Dire Wolves. So let's go ahead and fight this one on the battle map. So, even though they have a lot of men, it doesn't actually matter at all. We're going to move over to the left side where our reinforcements are joining us. And I'm also going to just get all of my units that I have already on the battlefield over here. We'll start the deployment. We're going to move these guys up. Now, these war dancers will absolutely slice through the enemy. Like, for real. We just have so many units. This is going to be crazy. So I kind of want to sort out a formation that uh, basically uses as many units as possible in the right place. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that just so I can sort of create a screen for my arches. And then what I'm going to do is bring these two up. So I just pause it in the moment because I want to sort this out. I'm going to bring all my dryads here as well to help defend. And all my glade guard can follow up. And the glade riders can stay behind as well. So I think that's pretty much everything. And what I want to do, ideally, is put all of these guys into a formation group. And I should be able to order them all together. There we go. So I'm just going to speed this up. So they've got fell bats moving out wide. Oh, wow. Okay, so they're actually moving towards us. I'm actually going to retreat then. They have a lot of a lot of troops, but 
We can just keep them together and just mow them Eternal down. This crown of command. Wow, it makes everyone out unbreakable. That's impressive. Okay, we're then gonna do the mystifying miasma there. Just to break those forces sooner than later. Here we can see these guys crumbling as they try and come towards us. My war dancers having none of it. Okay, we got some uh, fell bats we've gotta worry about. Over on this side, the dire walls getting cut down. No worries whatsoever. Some zombies on the left flank. Let's get these dryads to help out with these fell bats. Gonna get some dryads to move on to that left side there. Those fell bats got shot out of the sky pretty quickly. We need to make sure that my units are actually firing where they can. Just stop these guys firing and put them on fire at will. Oh, I forgot some Shrieken. And I also forgot the other general, apparently. There's a couple units I left behind anyway. So we've got these Shrieken. These are very awesome units, but they take ages to get to the front line. So, uh, yeah, don't expect them to see them fighting in this one. <laughs> Let's use earth bloods down here to make sure that I'm healing up my units. Buff up all those units and I'm gonna put the withering on those ones. And we're gonna get the war dancers to run in there and help out with this melee. So we're using up some ammunition but I don't really have much chance to use my my glade guard at the moment. Uh, I guess we could maybe try and shoot some of these zombies. Not really sure how that's going to work. Probably a lot of friendly fire. <laughs> Might be able to shoot at the skeleton spearmen. I'm not sure. What I'm going to do is get these guys all to come together. And we can start to take down some of these skeleton warriors as they come towards us. But most of their army is already crumbling. The Dryads just hold so well against shit units. So these guys are all going to fire onto these skeleton warriors now. At least that's the plan. We're doing a lot of damage there. I'm just going to let these Treekin charge in there towards these skeleton warriors. And you'll see the devastation that they can cause. <laughs> Apart from the fact that that unit just completely crumbled uh, when uh, <laughs> when that happened, <laughs> that looks really cool. And this uh, zombie unit just completely disintegrated, and uh, that's a decisive victory. <laughs> Look how many kills we got, my lord! But you can see the war dancers incredibly good in melee, especially against weak units like zombies. We're just going to cut them down so easily. So a decisive victory there. We're going to raise this for 34,000. And that's the faction destroyed. Then we're going to assistance? grab her. She'll probably get Darthu, maybe. I was going to hope we could take the province this turn as well, but uh, we can't. So anyway, uh, I guess what we're going to do is increase armor for our army. 
and uh, Garthu. Oh, he can actually get Musalon. Okay, so we'll colonize that with Garthu. And we shall start to rebuild the lookout. Now, the reason we're getting so much attrition there is because it's 47% corrupt. <laughs> Not good. Either way, that's an extra province for us. We are on 8 amber. So I guess we can go now to the next Oak of Ages. Since we do have that excess amber. And now what we're going to do is turn our attention to the Empire. So we're friends with the Bretonians and we are trading with them quite nicely. Currently getting quite a lot of income from that. Trading with the clan Angrand. I want to trade with the Border Princes and Estelia and stuff, but as long as they're not attacking me, I guess that's good enough. Um, and that's that. Okay, cool. So, in terms of her, can I upgrade her anymore? could actually give her maybe some banners. No, they're all on um, on Orion. But with that done, what I'm going to do, turn my attention to the Empire. And um, what I'm going to do is pass by uh, Waterfall Palace and pick up some uh, Wild Riders because I believe there's still space in her army. At your service. Uh, there's uh, a little bit of space. What I might do is is put my Glade Guard over into Mus into the Durthu army. Uh, maybe another unit These as well. Not sure. Either way, want to make room for Wild Riders since her Wild Hunt directly benefits them. You need me. Okay, as for Findal, he is fine there. The Lyric is fine there at Val's Anvil. King's Glade, the happiness is increasing there. And everything is done now. Our technology is finished in four turns. We have our council entirely filled now. And I think actually we should recruit Catra because we can get the extra 10%. So if I recruit Catra here, she's going to give us a bit more cash because she gives us plus 10% in our local region. Um, and then maybe she can recruit some troops for us. Maybe if I recruit the Wild Riders just as uh, Trelan's arriving. Then we can just switch them over and she can move on as well. So far, so good. Foreign Trespasser. We have... Oh, we have a tribe here that we might need to deal with. Either way, we can move very far with her and Durthu. I'm not sure quite what I'm going to do here, but well, actually they're going to choose for me. I'll get another port, which is going to give me a lot more cash actually. So I'll get Durthu back into the other province, I guess. I'll leave that one be. And this way he'll get a lot more replenishment. And considering next turn I'm going to be able to pretty much fast move all the way to Waterfall Palace, what I'm going to do is recruit three Wild Riders this turn. And what I'll do is pass over a couple of these Glade Guard and maybe a War Dance unit or something, or maybe even an Eternal Guard. Switch those about. Son of I thirst for the hunt. So Orion needs to make his way over here as well. So Orion's actually going to head towards Altdorf. Forth. My will is yours. 
Uh, Dirthu will go with him. And then I think I'll leave... Uh, Trellan. You need me? To... Raise all of these smaller settlements. In order to make a load of money for us. At the moment we don't necessarily need money. <laughs> honestly. But it will allow us to build more armies. In the future. Okay. Azrae. In the turn there. We're definitely on the way to a win, that's for sure. Although I'm not entirely sure about what we're supposed to do about those uh, tribes that are roaming through our lands. The Great Stag. We got this event again. Do we want extra missile damage or reduction in vampiric and chaos corruption? I think we're going to get the extra missile damage, so we're going to hunt it. What we're going to do also is bring her all the way over here. I'm going to get Catra to swap over these units. We'll take the Glade Guard. My journey begins. What do you need? Can I offer? Actually, I may as well. Lady of the Glade. Recruit another. Highborn. Myself, maybe. I don't know. Proud daughter of Athel Lauren. Maybe I should give her some wild rangers. I'll do that with this guy. Glade Lord, at your service. Okay, so Ryan, you need to continue up here. I think I might just go all the way to Alhart, just so that the Jagged Horn tribe don't take it from me. And then Findle can stay there. Durthu, I think I might actually move him down to intercept this tribe. It'd be good to see him in battle. Lady of Athel we actually haven't seen Durthu in battle yet, so I will try and get around to doing that. But again, we just need to move on to the next turn. My lady informs me. They want me to join the war against the Greenskins still. Not gonna happen. And Festival of the Equinox. Interlopers into the Trixers' woods have been caught and brought before you to face justice. The sentence is clear. Death. Yet before you can pass judgement, one of the captives issues a brazen challenge. If he can last one hour in battle with a war dancer, then he and his friends go free. If not, he accepts your sentence. It is a bold request, but one you have no obligation to accept. So we're probably just going to punish them. Um, I could get plus unit for unit experience for war dancer recruits, but I'm not going to recruit any more war dancers, so we'll just kill him. <laughs> Auckland is dead. The beastmen are dead. Again, the beastmen have died like three times this campaign. So, how can I assist you? Let's just move past here. Quickly pass over that one. And then continue on downwards. So Tralan's heading over there at the moment. I'm going to get Deluric to move back into there. Catra needs to move back Lady into the Glade Waterfall Palace. And I need to use Orion to chase here. So I might just attack that tribe. Maybe I'll wait one more turn. See where they end up. Just want to make sure that I'm on top of where they're going. 
Master of the Wild Hunt. At your service. Great. So you're probably wondering why I'm not spending any of this money. Maybe to build more troops and stuff, but honestly I don't need to. I actually should have uh, moved Dodan then. Because then I could have used him to block the army. Uh, like one of these Jagged Horn tribe armies. Vaults of Winter. Aranok lies under the eternal summer sun, scarcely knowing night. The guests to this mystical and radiant part of the forest have been feasting endlessly, fattening themselves for the coming sacrifice. Many whisper that this is time, or many whisper that this time is now, yet the guests could yet could could yet continue to feast themselves into a greater state of readiness. What do you think, my lord? Gorging. Income from all buildings plus 10% or a sacrifice plus 15 to all growth. I think we'll get a sacrifice going because then we can start upgrading these provinces to level 5. Um, okay. So, Trellan, I'm actually going to take her uh, Over here. And I'm going to use Darthu to chase this guy. Maybe even sack him. What I think we're going to do is fight this one on the battle map and try and do as much damage as possible. So let's jump in, see what Darthu is like on the battlefield. So here we are. Let's get my uh, dryads lined up. We'll get Darth uh, through amongst, amongst them. Here he is, the badass. He has this lamentation of despair, which basically fires an armor-piercing missile. But yeah, just look how crazy he is. He is an angry motherfucker. <laughs> The best thing about like the tree guys is that you just literally run towards the enemy. It's so fun. Right, let's get these uh, blade guards to move forwards. Okay, they're already firing at me with this Saigor. So what I'm gonna do is line up these guys. I'm gonna put the dryads in front with the Treekin and Durthu. I'm going to harass them with my Glade Riders. Although they are doing a lot of damage to me. Now the trouble is I think they might not actually come towards me. I'm not sure. Alright, let's just put that into a control group and run forwards. I'm gonna bring the cavalry down below. These glade riders are pretty cool units, that's for sure. They look awesome. They aren't necessarily very powerful though. Alright, this is going to get very fun. Make sure we get rid of these Ungor Raiders. Who 
You'll see in a second, I really need to retreat those guys. Um, I'm going to get all of these dryads to charge. At their melee forces. We'll get Darthu to run in and it'll just look so epic. Here we go, the front line is moving. Darthu running forwards with his men. Here we go. And goodbye, Uncle Spearman Herd. <laughs> I really need to kill off as many of these Mongol raiders as I can. You can see they are just running away. Just gonna get Durthu to run and take on the Saigor. I used my magic there <laughs> to uh, attack them. Oh, it looks like uh, some guys have broken through. Let's just mow them down. Yep, they're gone. Go on, Dathu. Sort them out. <laughs> Dirty fighting a cycle. Oh, didn't like that, did you, Dirty? <laughs> I love the way he just fucking knocked him straight over. <laughs> so, bitch, please. <laughs> right. <laughs> We need to make sure that I'm finishing off these units. And there we go, that's victory, but I want to try and kill as many of these as possible. So let's make sure I can kill as many as possible. I think I just killed a lot of my own horses there. <laughs> that wasn't ideal. Okay, we're going to end the battle there. That should be enough. Certainly made them much less of a threat. I'm not sure why, sure why we're minus on uh, Amber now. But I think we need to get the Rage of Kernos here. Plus 5% weapon strength for all units faction wide. Yes, please. I live to serve right, Ryan can go and attack this army. The Hunt Corps! And that should destroy them if I just auto resolve that. Oh no, it didn't. Okay. Not sure why. Because they attacked them, they retreated, and when you attack them again, it normally just kills them off. But that time, it did not. I guess we'll get a minus a reload reduction time. If I go fast move, I can get back into friendly territory and get men back so I'm gonna do that and in the meantime it looks like I might use Trellan to come towards Altdorf with Orion and then I'll use Durthu once he's finished with this Red Horn or Jagged Horn tribe army to go and 
get these other provinces. I'm not entirely sure. But unfortunately, guys, that has been my time. I've gone over a bit, quite a bit, to be honest. Um, but I did certainly enjoy that last little battle we had there. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying this campaign. Again, let me know in the comments if you are really enjoying this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.